we got another spawn saturday coming your way come on back and see who it is Welcome back, cave dwellers. We are in the Manchild Cave. I am the 417 Manchild, and today we've got another Spawn Saturday coming your way. This week we're going to look at the Mandarin Spawn, the Scarlet Edge from the Spawn the Dark Ages. This comes from my buddy Tom. He uh, has a bunch of this stuff that he's getting rid of, and he saw my collection and said, Hey, I am the guy to sell these two and uh, I'm helping him do some stuff we're doing a little fair deal a little trades these little fun stuff so I thank him so much for letting me add these to my collection and um, blades connect to make 12 inch weapon which is awesome so I have the uh, red one of these and uh, I needed the blue so there's a couple things on here hopefully i can talk about with you guys if it's the same setup to uh not make the mistakes i made with mine for because mine's from back in the day which would have been uh 1999 so i'm guessing it came out the same year so and that would be the red one there the where the swords uh go on there's these little hook things made out of plastic and uh yeah they get real brittle after 20 what three 23 years so uh, i broke mine so that's kind of a bummer but it's what i tell you all the time these things are 20 25 years old you've got to be very careful with these they will break on you especially those little thin things but here's some of the other things uh i've got him and there's a couple other I've, I've got these to open here which is i'll raise that up so you can see i've got both versions of these to open up that one was fantastic the tormentor ah oh, fantastic and then i think i have this one to open now too so uh, i have all the yellow submarine stuff maybe one day i'll open those on the channel um then of course i just own these the austin power stuff ozzy's back here behind me so fun stuff so a lot of these he either had opened and took them out but i guess saved the packaging or they were just sitting on hanging on the wall and the plastic just gave way so uh it, it just kind of happens that way i don't care because everything comes out and as long as all the pieces are here or most of the pieces are here then i am good to go because i have lost many pieces to my stuff over the years so i can't really judge anybody for losing stuff when i've done the exact same thing so but we'll take those out we will take this out take that sword out take that shield out and he fell on out not missing anything nope. all right so let's take a look at some accessories first here's the shield which these are just fantastic i mean just amazing detail on these of course that's how they clip this plastic is 23 years old there's some flex in there be careful that will break on you these pieces i'm not 100 percent sure do they go in that's like a sheath it looks like so that fits down in there so that looks like he broke that already so that looks like that attached somewhere and it's been broken let's see here so maybe right there is where it went and it broke off or i don't know i'll have to look and see where it went to but those things happen i did it to mine so and then here's the sword pieces that connect and he's got a giant sword so that's fun 12 inches long and then i'll show you this in a minute but let's take a look at the detail here i mean just the face sculpt got the little matches this it's got the kabuki mass 
here, here. Very, that whole demon style mask. You see a lot of that in traditional, um, like tattooing, Asian tattooing. And so we do have range of motion is this. And this is kind of coming out a little bit. But you do what you can. You don't overdo it. But there's no, okay, we've got some motion there. And we do have, does that move? Yes. But be careful. These pins right here will break. So you got to be very careful. Wrists are extremely fragile. So be careful with turning those wrists. You can go back and watch some of my oldest spawn videos and you'll see the uh, samurai one just i mean it, it disintegrated this whole thing that moved the wrist just disintegrated i glued in pieces as best i could and put it in a pose i liked and called it one so we got a little metallic sheen on this soft rubber there's i mean look at those how how amazingly detailed is that I mean, the Mandarin ones, they just went all out on. There's another thing, another mask, big old crazy feet, spikes everywhere. There's the mask back here. Again, sorry, I'm playing with my toys, not paying what I'm doing. A little bag of something, some coins maybe, I don't know. So... I mean, just the details on these are so awesome. I can't wait to put them with my red one. It's in a case that's kind of buried, or I would get that out now. But uh, range of motion is this, you know. It's nothing great. You're not going to put them in any dynamic poses or anything. These are basically statues that you get them in the, the position they want to go in, and you leave it at that. So I don't know what looks like this yeah see his had the double swords i do not know if that oh that's what it is okay the other sword is broken off somewhere okay so uh i'll mention it to him maybe he's got that sword floating around somewhere else so that's what the problem is so the sword actually goes in like that so he would have had two of them so, but you know what? These things happen. I broke my own. After having it for 25 years or 23 years, I broke mine. So, it is what it is. And, uh, see, this maybe goes on this arm. Don't, looks like it goes on, snaps on there. So, they've got the arm at ready to grab onto that some nice yeah this one plugs in i'm pretty sure mine had hooks that these hooked on which was a terrible design but this i can put into his hand or its hand and there you go pretty cool so there's a little shot of that from the side a little shot from the back if you're nasty and a little bit right there so yeah these are super cool glad to have it in my collection and like i said i'll hit him up see if he knows where that other piece is at and until then you can go over and you can see some of my shots on facebook uh over 417 manchild on uh, instagram sorry not facebook and um 417 manchild on uh TikTok and you can uh, i may dig out the red one do some pictures i don't know we'll see but uh yeah be good to one another find deals where you can get the word out if you're looking for these people have these just sitting around oh yeah i want to i about forgot put you off over to the side these always came with uh the figures and we don't really get stuff like this anymore but and we can't been a while since i've opened one apparently so there's kind of some same on what was on the back so you got that techno spawn that's who i forgot to say i think i have techno spawn so then you have 
from Sin City. You got Danger Girl. You got Collector's Club stuff, which is hard to find or very expensive. And here's your instructions on how to do all these. I guess you just throw this in every one of them or the occasional, at least one in the line. Then you know how to do it. Um, something broke on his too. I do not remember what it was. I've got that to open for the channel. This was just incredible. That Tormentor. Ugh, that was so amazing once I got it out. I wish I would have been doing these when I opened these. Oh, you guys would have loved that. There's the old spawn. So yeah, there's a second sword that would have went there. So yeah, they have it on that arm. And then this one, which I saw this in a flea market, but she wasn't complete. And I would rather wait and find her complete. And then, of course, Viper King. I got a couple of those to open up. So yeah, fun stuff. So come on back every Spawn Saturday. See who we've got to open. And um, we do Vintage Marvel Monday, where we do Toy Biz figures like oh jubilee here and we do a whatever wednesday which is wrestling figures or whatever come through the door from amazon or from entertainment earth or i found in a flea market still in package whatever you never know what you're going to find because it's whatever wednesday so uh be good to one another get a good deal until the next time love you guys i don't know why i just said that but i'm keeping it who cares i do so be good to one another and take it easy bye